course, with all the warmth these days, and today near record warmth, it's aggravating the flooding situation. And minor flooding possible in the central mountains. That's prompted the National Weather Service to keep this flood advisory out through the weekend until mid-morning Sunday. So if you live in Custer County, northern half of Blaine County, heads up. Uh, we still have that flood warning out for the Port Neuf River. It continues to stay above flood stage. It's actually risen the last couple of days, so it's almost a foot above flood stage. And now the Weather Service has issued a flood warning for the Bear River just to the southeast of Montpelier. It is not at flood stage, but it is expected to rise above that number by a foot or so here in the next several days. So certainly keeping a watchful eye. As the warm temperatures continue, although we're going to back off a little bit temperature-wise, we're still going to see that possibility of flooding. We'll be warm enough for that. And now we're adding more water to the ground. Showers and thunderstorms streaming across the central mountains. I mentioned this last night that there was a potential of that. Sure enough, here it is. We'll start to see some of this try to work into the Snake River Plain later in the day tomorrow. So tomorrow may not be entirely dry. So have your umbrella with you just in case. Possibility of afternoon, evening showers and thunderstorms. Most of this, as far as the precipitation, will stay well to the uh, north of us. We've got high pressure here. That high pressure system has opened the door as it has pushed east for all this moisture to work into East Idaho. Sunday, though, I think we'll probably see more clouds than anything. If we get it rain at all, at least in the Pocatello Falls area, it would be tomorrow. And then things set up to be relatively nice as we go off back to work Monday or school, whatever your pleasure is. Your forecast uh, temperature-wise tonight, we're going to be pretty warm. In fact, temperatures right now, we're still in the 60s. Wow, 68 in Pocatello. Dubois at 60. Stanley at 47. Okay, you would expect them to be cooler, right? 58 for a current temperature in Chalice. Salmon, 63. You know, these weren't even our highs last week. Here, the sun's gone to bed, and we're still toasty out there. Go figure. Now, tonight's forecast for the lows, well, we'll cool down in the 50s at Pocatello, which is warmer than average, 48 in Driggs, 49 for low in Rexburg. Blackfoot tonight will stay in the lower 50s. Now, tomorrow in Blackfoot, not bad, 78. We'll back off a little bit temperature-wise. I think the only place we'll actually hit 80, at least in this neck of the woods, will be Pocatello right at 80. We'll be a little farther away from that record warmth, unlike today. Now, future tracker. Here shows some moisture streaming in the mid-afternoon, so there's that chance of showers, some thunderstorms, and then things start to clear up tomorrow night, dry out at least with more showers and thunderstorms off towards the west and east of us. Seven-day forecast. Sunday, a little bit on the cloudy side, not quite as warm, 67 for high. Monday, we'll see a temperature still in the 60s, but a lot more sunshine than what we had for the last day of the weekend. There is that chance Tuesday of more showers and thunderstorms. Seven-day forecast for Idle Falls. Well, we got sunshine, then we got the potential stormy weather tomorrow, and then Sunday, a lot of clouds around. If we get lucky, we'll see a little bit of sunshine, and certainly more so on Monday. Rexburg seven day forecast. We got temperatures climbing to the 60s, or I should say dropping into the 60s starting Sunday. Won't see 70 again until Tuesday, and with that comes a chance of some stormy weather. Teton area, there's that potential tomorrow, but definitely showers and thunderstorms Sunday through Tuesday with perhaps maybe them lingering into Wednesday. Central mountains, showers and thunderstorms all weekend. And then we're done with all that by Monday with temperatures finally rising back in those 70s. But you know, this cool down we're gonna get in the 60s, it's nothing. I mean, really. Yeah. We've had worse. Yeah, it's, like last week. It's so. We can expect <laughs> exactly. this, right? Yep. All right.